guys, my name is Bharat and I'm the creator of Bharat in Germany. In this video series, we are working together with the Goethe Institute. I would like to know how is the experience of students who have learned German with the help of the Goethe Institute and are now living in Germany. To learn more about this, I'm going to call Romina in this video who is a 33-year-old nurse and is living in Frankfurt. Audio check. Uh, Hi, Romina. Hey. Hi Romina. Hello. <laughs> how is the weather today outside? Oh. It's bad. <laughs> it's cold and raining here. Yeah. Oh yes, I think that's the typical German weather. Hamburg is called the rain hole of Germany. So like I can yeah. understand what you feel here. Romina, can you show me where you live? That's yeah, I have a balcony here. You know, it's summer is very beautiful here in Germany. Right now everything is gloomy. Mm -hmm. And in uh, summer, you see the beauty of Germany. Uh, your finger is in the front. <laughs> Yeah. It's it's covering the camera. Uh, also, we have a river here. Yeah, look at here. Wow. The city where I'm living. And how, how long have you been here already? I have been here since um, 2017, August. So, R Romina, can you tell me about what kind of research did you already do before you like came to Germany? About the life, culture or people? When I started learning Goethe Institute German, so I had experienced a lot of people who experienced German. Me, uh, about Germany and they explained our things. They always teach me uh, not only from their book stuff, you know, mm -hmm. uh, from their life experience. Till what level did you learn German in Goethe Institute? Till B2 level. Cool. And okay. uh, did you knew a bit about like accommodation and stuff? Like where are you going to find or how are you going to find Indian food and things like that in Germany? And people who I know uh, helped me a lot to find out uh, and also uh, in the, my working uh, area the university clinic and they are uh, offering uh, apartments so I, right now I've got an apartment for me yeah so nice because that's correct like you know yeah. finding accommodation in Germany is such a pain so yeah. like you have to like kind of like tackle this problem like as soon as possible and I've also seen like sometimes like the way you write kind of the messages to the people who are offering that is important um like then like we saw that sometimes like if you write in german and if you tell a bit about yourself in the messages and stuff like that also like helps out yeah. for example we have also been in places where there's a line of like 40 people like standing outside looking at like one apartment we're like okay <laughs> this is not going to work <laughs> yeah. out accommodation mm -hmm. is a problem in germany so like you should be handling this like as soon as possible this is a nice even like good tip for the people who are like coming new to germany what kind of problems did you face when you you know landed in germany what were the first first or two, two days like even though i had a beauty level uh, german certificate i uh, couldn't even uh, i was struggling to communicate with the people of different accent uh, six to seven months later I feel comfortable with my language. So let's talk yeah. about the habits, Romina. What kind of new habits did you develop? I have to be punctual in uh, every aspect, you know. That was the thing. And the other thing is um, I will be able to manage my time efficiently. That was also a, uh, a thing I which I have learned. I think like one thing that, that is very different for me is the appointments. The crazy appointments. One after the next. Oh my god, exactly. I, I once went for, my, for a skin doctor's appointment and this guy uh, told me that like we can only give you appointment in six weeks and I'm like, are you guys serious? In, in my fridge, you know, I have always a stick of papers for my appointments every day uh, day appointments and also in my phone also i also always keep the remembrance i i feel that everything is systematic you know of course there are like things you like things you don't like but i think the using the calendars very often and having appointments and then showing up on time this is like so much a respect for the other person's yeah. time. Uh, Romina, did you work in an Indian hospital? Yeah, I had worked in Mumbai, Lilavati Hospital for two and a half years. And what was what was the difference like there, like, you know, working in India versus working in Germany right now? In my experience, it is too, totally different, you know. The Germans are giving more uh, priority uh, to their employees. Na? They offer the personal development. After two years of experience in hospital, they uh, can, they give uh, further study uh, opportunities. No? And here I'm getting more vacations that I, uh, in uh, my work, uh, work life that, so that I can um, enjoy my life here. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. So you mean a lot of teamwork and uh, freedom to like express your ideas and give suggestions. Yeah. The number one thing like what German employers are really looking for um, is like your ability to give suggestions and like have initiatives and have ideas. Like if you okay. have that, if you can like kind of like contribute something extra, 
then like exactly. you know this is always a huge plus yeah i think uh, i felt living in germany uh, served me well to reach my goals so uh, what do you like the best about your life in germany wait <laughs> what should i choose the, um the thing is that i can explore my life eh? i can travel all over, all over here in european country that is the best thing which i felt here look here here i'm walking this is the university oh, hospital i never thought i will get a chance here and i can proudly say that i'm happy i'm grateful that i'm here right now so yeah. do you have some essential advice romina for the people who are thinking about coming to germany uh from your experience that you already have they have to learn german language it's better when you want to live here when you want to work here it's uh, you should you must learn <laughs> yeah it's a very important thing as a nurse i can say that they have to complete b2 level german language i think the germany they are accepting uh, the goethe institute yeah certification it's better to learn from goethe institute they are uh, teachers who are preparing us for the examination they are not teaching from uh, the books and all they are giving an uh, example of their life experience in germany yeah yeah that's that's really true and i think if you are able to like kind of like learn more german like it definitely makes your life easier and yeah i think like if you're learning at goethe institute you also learn more about the culture with different kind of activities and stuff i think yeah. that is also like a definitely a plus point why people should definitely think about you know um learning german at goethe institute perfect so this was like very nice romina to talk to you to have like such a lovely conversation about your experiences of living yeah. in germany working in germany that people should learn german and that the food stuff and everything is like already there so don't no need to worry about yeah. it okay thank you so much okay. again thank you thank you very much yeah bye bye bye